Welcome to Amanda Batchelor from Elite Property People powered by EXP. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Thanks for having me. So I'm going to talk to you today about EXP. I want to know your experience with EXP and how you found it. So yep. how has your experience been so far? It's been amazing. Um, everyone's just been so welcoming. You know, it's a big decision. So I just, I can't even think of anyone else I'd rather do the journey with. It's just everyone's so supportive. Yeah. And the, the big decision that you made, like how did you arrive at the decision that you, you came to? Um, well, I was with a, a bigger franchise. Um, I don't know if I can say who they are, but um, I think it's, it's very similar to why anyone would even change to go to another real estate. It, it was just, um, it was just a daily grind. It was just the same thing day in, day out. It was answering to somebody else when we all have our own individual business in a business. So it's not really something that anyone could do to, to change anything that I did, but I still had to answer to somebody else. So yeah, it was an easy decision to go over the XP because well, it wasn't easy. It's always hard to start with, but I wish I hadn't done it earlier. Yeah. Now you get to make the decisions. It's your own business. You get to implement what you want to implement. Nobody's standing over your shoulder, looking at you, seeing what you're doing, telling you to do other things. You, you really get to run your own show, don't you? Yeah, well, you really do. And um, I guess that the, the first step was just the hesitance of something new. And it was, I wish, yeah, I really wish I had it done sooner because just the processes and everything are just so much simpler. There's so much stuff at your fingertips. You have access to so many things that are already done for you where, you know, a particular day before it would be organising your own social media content or writing up your own flyers, things like that. And, and with EXP, a lot of that stuff is already done that you can edit to make your own and you just save so much time with just basic things that are already there. Yeah, great. And what about financially? So what's the difference between where you were to where you are now financially for you and your family? Yeah, well, it's a big difference. And thinking now, I was even actually thinking this morning, you know, why didn't I do it before? Because even adding up just one year, I think it's around $80,000 extra that I could have had in my pocket. But you know, working for, for someone else, you're just basically making them richer. Um, so it's a huge difference in, in what you financially gain, but it's not only the money that you gain, it's a lifestyle as well. So you have the flexibility of family and so many other things that, that weren't even possible before. I mean, what can you buy with $80,000? Renovations on your house, you know, all of the different things, $80,000, that's a car, that's, um, you know, that's holidays, that's, you know, private schools, that's, you know, the things that, that we want for our life. And, you, you know, you're talking about lifestyle and for our children, that's a lot of money. And people- It is a lot. You know, people, I don't know, people sort of don't relate that value to what that money buys, you know, the money that they're leaving on the table, um, and what you can be doing for your family instead. Well, that's right. And that's even taking into consideration any fees that would be equivalent with EXP. Not that the fees are just so affordable, but it's taking into consideration that as well. That would be what would have been in my pocket. So, yeah, it's, it's a huge, it's a life changer. It really is. And the fees, $218 a month. That's all you've really got to risk. Um, yeah. And, you know, transaction fees, $250, so you don't have to do trust accounting or anything like that. I think that's that's something that scares a lot of people going out by themselves. It's like I'm not yeah. compliant. So EXP's got your back with compliance. So, you know, it's really hard to, to do anything wrong because you've got the licensees checking, you've got compliance and all that sort of thing. So it's like if you're worried about that sort of stuff, don't be because you, you're actually covered with that. Um, yeah. And you do trust accounting, which nobody likes doing trust accounting. Do oh, they? no. And you know what? If I had to do that myself, I wouldn't do it. I Honestly, it scares the hell out of me. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just get me to do it. That's the easiest way. All right. That's right. Some of the things. So so what do you really love about EXP? Um, oh, there's not one thing that I, I really like. It, it's a number of things. You know, I've had the opportunity to go down to conferences in Brisbane. And, and actually meet others from branches throughout Australia. And everyone isn't in competition with each other. And I love that everyone is supportive and everyone wants everyone to succeed. And 
that's not something that you find anywhere. Um, that's one of the things, but it's not only that if I do have a question or, or if I have an issue, I can ring another agent or I can ring you or Emily or Kirsten or whoever I want to ring. Everyone is available and everyone's there to help. So it, it's really supportive. Yeah, great. And I feel I feel that. I feel like everyone's got your back, whether it's work-related or not. You know, you know, yeah. sort of just say, you know, I need help with this and, and people do help. So I think that's yeah. good. All right, so what other models did you look at and why did you choose EXP? What was the deciding factor? Um, I had a look at another franchise, um, which was just a very long secretive process um and I found it a bit of a turn off and I was ready to to jump in and then just so many things in my gut were saying no 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 but obviously kept on persevering um so that was one thing that I looked into um I also looked into a few other um independent that was similar to EXP but the main difference um, with those was that obviously the fees were a lot higher and you didn't get a lot more in return. Um, I found that trying to get any information out of anybody, all I did was leave messages after messages and no one got back to me, um, which is obviously the same if you're looking for an agent. If they don't get back to you, well, they're obviously not interested in your business. What are they going to be like when you actually are with them. So with EXP, um, obviously going through those and then I, I knew another agent with EXP and yeah, put me on to Lisa and obviously Lisa was straight onto it. So yeah, and everything was set up really quickly and I just felt very comfortable. So yeah, after looking into them all, it was my choice. Yeah, great. And so how's it been working with myself, with Michelle, um, Kirsten, Emily, the rest of the team? Like you've got you've got admin support, you've got finance support, um, as far as you know, all the, the trust accounting, all that sort of stuff, you know, all of that that back end support. How has that been? And and how has it been as far as your stress levels of not having to worry about all that sort of stuff? Um, it's been fantastic you know and not once have I had to worry about it it's just it's basically you're on your own but you've got so much support but everyone does their job and they do it so well and everyone's so friendly and any questions everyone's there for you so yeah it's been just a seamless transition for me Fantastic. all right so um you are looking for team members in your area as well or, or anywhere in Australia people that are looking at, at, at changing where they are now so why yep. should everybody come to you and, and our team what do you think are the benefits of, of, of um, joining you and, and our team there's not one uh, once again I know that's been my answer for for a few things I think that anyone who's thinking about it new year new changes um, even if you think you're changing agencies, honestly, it's easier to jump over to EXP. With us, there's support. There's always a conversation. Like you said, whether it's personal, business related, um, there's other people that have been down the same path. So you've got direction, um, any answers to any questions. There's just everything is here for you. Absolutely. And you are just so genuine and so um, approachable, like, you know, our business dealings and personal, all that sort of, you know, all that sort of thing, you know, you're like a breath of fresh air, you're not like the typical real estate agent, you're, you're somebody that's going to help nurture somebody and help them bring them into the company, um, you know, show them the ropes, all that sort of stuff, get them up and running, um, you know, and I, I just think that that really shines through you, that that genuine approach and, and you know, the rest of the team, the rest of the, of the team that you're dealing with as well is, is the same. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so, so what would you say to people that are, that are sitting on the fence and just going, yeah, I'll check out what Amanda's doing and, and see how it's going, you know, whatever. What would you say to them? I mean, you've said so many times, I wish I'd have joined earlier and I wish yeah. I joined a lot earlier too. I sort of started right at the start. But, um, you know, if it was around 30 years ago, my gosh, you know. <laughs> I know. You'd be over in the Maldives by now just sipping on wine all day, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, I would say... If you're on the fence, honestly, you can be on the fence for another year. If you don't jump in and take a risk, you won't see the benefits. It's the same in anything that you do. 
it's the same as when you first started real estate. You're always hesitant, you know, what if I don't do this? What if a sale doesn't come through? It's exactly the same. And the difference is, is that you're doing the same job. It's just that you're reweeding, you're, you're getting more benefits from it. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, there's, there's risks and there's calculated risks and there's risks when you do research. And, you know, everything that I was worried about or, or could have been worried about with EXP was covered. It was like, oh, okay, they don't have digital trust again. They don't have to do this, they don't have to do that. So, you know, a lot of the things that you're probably worried about are covered anyway, you know. So if you're looking at, at, at the model, you know, reach out to Amanda and just say, look, I am interested. If you've got a question, got a concern, ask, because more than likely I'm 99.9% .9 sure we've already got it covered. You know, we've already... Yeah we've already got it solved it's already up and running um so definitely reach out to amanda and i'll put i'll put your details underneath the video as well um yep. all i can say too is yeah don't wait i wish i hadn't have waited amanda wishes she didn't wait um if you are looking at changing if you're looking at starting your own real estate business then definitely consider exp i think it's by far the best real estate model um in australia if not the world um yep benefits to agents and also the the things that you get to um you know to help your clients as well like all the technology and all of that sort of stuff like so it's not only agent based it's also focused on our our sellers and our buyers and um we'll go into that um in another video i think yep <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time and anybody that's interested please give amanda a call thanks lisa Thanks for having me. <laughs>